the colour of the land. It's just like nothing I'd ever seen before. My name is Jack River and this is my guide to the NT. Often when you're touring, it's easy to just kind of stick to the plan and, and stay for a night and fly back home. But as soon as I got to Darwin, I, I realised that there was this whole other world that I hadn't been aware of in my own country. I immediately decided to stay another week. I chose to grab a hire car and travel around on my own because it's something that I love so much, just cruising around on my own with music playing really loud. I just love the freedom that it gives you and the time to process away from your own life. On my little road trip, I mainly got to explore Litchfield National Park and one of my favourite parts was going along a walk and coming across Florence Falls and there were tens if not a hundred people swimming in this waterfall just admiring this big, beautiful, gorgy kind of waterfall and after so long without seeing people and talking to strangers and stuff. It was just a really cool experience to swim around with strangers and laugh and, and yeah, have a good time. My friend Annie and I took a few snaps on that trip. Having beautiful little Polaroids to stick, you know, in your diary or on your fridge, they remind me to go to places like Darwin and get out of the monotony of life and get out and go somewhere wild. I remember just seeing this tiny little turtle, it was like this big, swimming around and Annie and I were just obsessed with it. <laughs> I'd heard so many stories about Bass in the Grass being one of the funnest festivals to play and go to and that, you know, people in Darwin get a little bit troppo per se. They're really there with you, they're present, they're singing along, they're dancing and they really care about the music. So for me, it's really special and it's a show that I'll probably never forget. Playing that show made me realise how important music is and, and how much it brings to people and that's because of the crowd and how they were that day. So yeah, I'll remember it as a turning point in my kind of remembering after, after a whole load of isolation what I'm actually doing on the planet. <laughs> Walking on country up there you feel a certain sacredness in the land and, and, and you can understand why the, the national parks and, and all of the country up there is so special and important to First Nations people. There's a deep sense of groundedness and untouched wild nature that you don't feel in, in other parts of Australia. I found it really beautiful to, to experience that. Along with the, the landscape and the country up there, the most special thing that us as Australians have to discover and understand is First Nations culture and the stories and cultures and families and communities um, that are still so deeply connected to that land. And I feel like as a young Australian, we have so much more to learn and understand and pay respect to. And the Northern Territory is an incredible place to start. My name is Jack River and this has been my experiences and my guide to the NT.